Hi! In this video, we will see how to create a game prototype from an asset pack in minutes. I have selected a cool asset pack from an artist named Vexed, which can be found on itch.io. The pack is named Deep Night. Here is the blank Micro Studio project I have created. I have just imported the two images from the asset pack by drag and drop. That one is the image with all the character animations. I'm first selecting a complete animation strip to copy it to a fresh new sprite. I am then removing the background color and I select just the first frame. I click on the button Strip to Animation and I am done. I can adjust the frame rate of the animation. I am now doing the same steps again with another animation. Now I am renaming the sprites Player Jump and Player Run. I am also creating a new sprite player idol. Let's jump to the map editor and start creating a simple map. The important part is the block size, which has to match the size of my tiles. Here, 8 pixels by 8 pixels. I am jumping to the Explore section of Micro Studio because I want to import a plugin, Quick Engine, which is a simple 2D physics and rendering engine. According to Quick Engine documentation, I have to call quick.init, quick.update, and quick.draw like this. I am now adding my map, specifying its position and size. I also add the player character. The background is not right, let me set a different background color. We now need to control our character. We do that by checking whether a keyboard key is pressed and applying some velocity to the character. We are also changing the sprite to player run in that case. When the key is not pressed, we set the velocity back to zero and sprite back to player idle. Now when the up arrow key is pressed, we set some upward velocity to our character, allowing him to jump. When the player is not touching ground, we set the sprite to player jump. Our character falls naturally due to gravity, then hits the bottom of the screen. We can change this default to let him fall beyond the screen. In this prototype, falling means game over. We set the global variable game over to 1. According to the value of this variable, we paint a game over screen or the normal quick engine scene.
I would like the camera to follow the character, which I can do by calling quick.camera.move. Finally, I am fixing the starting coordinates of my character, making it spawn on the far left of the map. Now that a few game rules and controls are set up, I can start working on my map. I can play my level while I am building it. Thanks for watching and check the links in the description of the video. MicroStudio is free and available on microstudio.dev.